thing, um, at my 20 week doctor visit, which was, has been almost a month ago now, um, they told me that I need to go have another ultrasound to check her out at 26 weeks. And the reason for that was because she was really active during her um, ultrasound at our, I guess it was like 18 and a half week ultrasound to see what she was and check out all of her anatomy. Uh, they weren't able to see, I think it was the septum pellucidum in the brain. And because she was pointed head down the whole time and she was kind of like moving around a lot. So I think the only way they would have been able to see that was transvaginally. So I'm really glad they didn't go there. Um, because that was like super fun the first time that happened at eight weeks. But um, anyway, so we're going to get another look at her. And we knew that we might um, have to do, like I say have to do that, because boo-hoo, you get to see your baby on an ultrasound. How sad, right? Um, but we knew if we went early to get our ultrasound that that might be something that happened. So we're a little excited. We get to see her again when she's a little bigger and maybe has a little more fat on her. So that worked out really nicely for us because we get a look at the baby again at 26 weeks. So that's another new thing. And then apparently when I go see my doctor next week, I'm going to get that lovely drink that you're supposed to drink for your diabetes test thing they do. And I get to do that at my 28 week um, appointment with my doctor. So that's pretty exciting. And this next week when I go in for my 24 week, I guess that's when they will start measuring me and stuff. So that'll be kind of fun to see kind of how all that works. And I'm hoping, because this week apparently the um, swine flu vaccine comes out, I'm really hoping that by the time next Tuesday that I have my appointment that I'll be able to get my swine flu vaccine. Because um, that's something I'm definitely going to do since pregnant women are at a really high risk. So I encourage any of you that are pregnant, especially in the healthcare field like I am, to get that so you can, um, you know, kind of lessen your risk of getting it or not having as bad a case of it. And apparently the immunity passes on to your baby, so your baby will have a little bit of that immunity after they're born, which is nice. And I have gotten my flu shot. I got that last time, so that was a good a good thing to do. So I'm going to show you a couple other things that we've gotten um, in the meantime here. I was really excited. I went to Nordstrom Rack on, I think it was like during one of my days off this past week, and I found a little sports sack diaper bag, which I'm totally excited about, because little sports sack is like my favorite brand, and... I carry their purses a lot and they're really nice because the fabric wipes off pretty nice. Um, I think you can wash their bags and they're really, really, really lightweight and they're like packable so they'll like squish up really good. But it came with a changing pad and it's got like all these zippers and pockets and bottle compartments on the sides and whatnot and I thought it was pretty cute because it's brown and pink and all the fun things because I've actually never seen their diaper bags out but I've heard about them. So anyway. So yeah, this was kind of expensive. You probably just saw the price. So I'll just turn that over, but it was at Nordstrom Rack, so I didn't pay full price for it, which was good. And I'm still looking for another, um, I'd like a wipeable diaper bag because we plan on taking the baby to a bunch of Blazers games. And I want a diaper bag that I can set on the floor of the stadium and not worry about it getting all gross while we're watching games and people are spilling their drinks and whatnot. So I'm looking at, there's a Petunia Pickle Bottom bag that's really cute, that's pink and brown, that wipes off, something like that. Or there's several other brands I'm looking at that wipe down. So, still looking for something like that. Okay, so my dental assistant, Carmen, made us a really cool present. And it's kind of more for Tim because Tim's worried about everything being too girly since we're having a girl. So, um, since we plan on going to a lot of Blazers games, she thought it would be really sweet if she made a blanket that the baby could wear to support her favorite team, the Portland Trail Blazers. So, here is the blankie that she made so the baby could be all wrapped up in it to go to the game. And her little carrier. Then on the back there's basketballs. Super cute. So Tim is like so excited about this and this is the thing that he shows to everyone because he thinks it's the most awesome thing ever. And we've gotten a lot of um, different clothes and stuff. Um, my mom likes to send, she calls them baby showers in a box. So she'll send um, boxes every once in a while of clothes and stuff because she's having so much fun shopping. So I'm going to show you just a couple things that she sent. Um, we think this is pretty cute. It's a little swimsuit and we can hardly wait to see her in it this next summer. Put the little butterflies. She's gonna be really cute in her little swimsuit. And then um, this little outfit's really cute. Um, cute little socks it comes with. And then um, cute little shirt. Her first pair of guest jeans. So here's her little top. First pair of guest jeans. And then these little cute shoes to wear with them. Little high top sneakers. So cute. So anyway, we just have a lot of fun things we're getting and it's fun to think about getting to see her on these things. And um, that is pretty much it for things happening now. We had to cut the last video because our battery died. 
So just so you all know, we went to Baby's R Us in the meantime. Exchange the old crib for the new crib, the packaging, everything is all good. It's the right crib, woohoo! So we're gonna, um, I don't know, maybe work on setting that up this afternoon, Tim? Maybe, we'll see. So anyway, um, right now I'm gonna show you belly shots, and then we'll be done until you hear from us again, maybe in another week or two. All right. Okay, so this is the 23 week belly. It's just getting big. So yay. And then I'll show you, because I haven't showed you like my belly belly in a while. But it's still okay. There's no stretch marks, woohoo! So that's good. Hopefully that'll last, we'll see. So there she is. 23 weeks. Yay, only what, 17 to go? Yippee.